Hello friends, welcome to Brina Creations. In today's video, I would like to show you how I preserve my fruits and vegetables to make them last up to two weeks or more. So I have a variety of vegetables that I um, buy every week. This is orange, one basket. And um, I'm just washing with um, baking soda to make sure that all the chemicals are out because while farming, they usually use sometimes if insects infect um, attack these plants or vegetables and they need something to get rid of them and in most cases they use pesticides or chemicals and these things can be harmful to the body you want to use um, salt or vinegar or baking soda to get rid of them um, so i'm just adding my baking soda baking soda is a bit um is affordable but for some people who may have difficulties getting baking soda you can use salt but be careful with salt because if you leave it soaked in salt water for a while especially something like um, carrots the salt can um, seep into the carrots and the tart may taste a bit salty i mean it's, it's not that bad but if you don't mind you can i mean feel free to do so so i'm washing uh, i'm soaking my orange i've washed my uh, apples i have my cucumber spring onions mangoes yes i like to do a lot of vegetables and then fruits most times i use my vegetables for rice um, notice that I, uh, the carrots I'm not washing, I'm just putting it dry and I'm going to be leaving that in the refrigerator and it's going to remain that way because on a normal day, I made a video before now on how to prepare your carrot so that it's ready to go but because of the light situation, I notice that it gets bad because the light is not consistent perhaps it's the day you prepare all these vegetables that they won't be power so I like to buy mostly fruits that um, can endure um, I mean minimum of three days power supply and then you keep going some of these vegetables I'm going to freeze others I'm going to leave in the refrigerator and then that's it guys uh, remember that the World Health Organization recommends that you eat at least five fruits and five vegetables daily we try to do that here even though we're not perfect we know that this challenge and day-to-day life is not easy that's why i'm here for you i make videos on healthy living budgeting and great recipes um with not just the recipes and tips and tricks on how to um, make your food taste great this cabbage are you aware that you can replant your cabbage using the the stem if you didn't know now you know i don't wash my cabbage i just put them in the fridge that way that way it lasts me very well i've allowed my apples to to drip some water and i'm i put it in the bean face down my mangoes i'm putting the unripe ones or the semi-ripe ones down and the ripe ones on top so that um, we can eat the ripe ones first my cucumber also has gone into the fridge my spring roll now i'm going to just prep it by cutting it just to, um, so that it's easy for me to grab and go. I have my yellow pepper, which I love so much. If not added what yellow pepper to your meals, you're missing. I've also added my grape into the baking soda solution. And here is how I prep my spring onions. I really don't, I have a food processor, but for some reason, I just like to use my hands to do these things. It's therapeutic for me. So just do what suits you. I'm, blend, I'm cutting all of this and I'm going to be freezing. I use my spring onions um, as an alternative to onions. If I run out of onions, I mean these grapes, <laughs> they are very, very yummy. That grape, this grape did not last past that day, you know. And then, yeah, I use my spring onions for my porridges if need be. I use my spring onions for... Um, yeah my eggs and even my pancakes sometimes yes guys okay um i'm packing this in my ziplocs and that's i'm gonna keep it try to get as much water out as possible and then freeze my yellow pepper after i've removed the stock and washed is going in my free in my freezer so here is my cabbage and everything that i have washed and these are all what we're going to have for the week sometimes we may have some extended next week which means that we may buy lesser than the week coming 
yeah that's it guys um i hope you enjoy videos like this let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up if you like videos like this and then share with your friends and loved ones don't forget to drop your comments below if you have any questions feel free to ask me as for the leafy vegetables the best way to store them is to have them um wrapped in a paper bag or a newspaper or an envelope and then you wrap it in the nylon so that the water doesn't seep in um, another way is to wrap it in a foil bag and then put in your fridge my pineapple i'm just going to let it sit on the counter and if i have space i'll put it in my fridge yes my fridge is mostly stocked with fruits and vegetables of all kinds and it's intentional i have my dates and my tiger nut and then my cheese in the refrigerator uh that's it and that is how i keep my vegetables lasting for me and also um, giving me the reason to eat them because i have them handy these ones are going to the freezer and that's it for this video guys i still have my pineapple which they are not fully ripe but i'm leaving that out avocado is getting ripe my ginger and garlic i'm not ready to process i have my onions and potatoes which we'll be using for the week in the meantime here is how i store my eggs i use this crate that um this box that contains um 30 two eggs and then i put paper towel underneath to trap any excess water coming from the top of the lid and then snap and close yes and then here is another way to store your carrots you can put the paper um paper underneath and then that's it don't forget to subscribe to this channel feel free to give me a thumbs up um like share and subscribe click the bell icon so that you can get notified anytime i share new posts i'll be seeing you guys soon bye